Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for this episode, we will be catching up with Miss Hansel Dimapilis, a co-creator of Spirit Sprints, uh, illustrator of it as well, which is under Pen Lab. And you have other titles that you released before, Diva. Ah yes, po. Okay. I had some personal titles before. Um, mm -hmm. the first comic ko was Tara, although that's let's take the very first one. So, wala na siya. The second one was Lone Cats, which I made under yung Comic Con workshop. Yeah, then, yeah, I remember. <laughs> yes, and then Not Today, uh, which is, was a personal comic, and then Smile, which is a mini comic book that won the 2020 Comic Ed Award hmm. back nung simula ng pandemic. So, yun nga. Um, medyo matagal na tayo last we talk so marami tayong ground to cover with what you've been up to comics wise of course let's <laughs> go okay so i've mentioned siguro is one of your biggest releases what would be under the pen lab imprint a pen lab sprints imprint which is in spirit sprints mm -hmm. uh, when was this released uh it was released po Last April 2023. Mm. Dun po sa Comic Katipunan. Yeah. And tapos, yeah. I bought yung copy nga of you dun sa mismong event na mm. Sobrang wild, no? Kasi I was thinking it was like two years ago? Tapos it was just a year ago. <laughs> and dami po sinangyari. <laughs> no, and dami kasi yung pangyayari. Eh. Kasi parang after nung after nating makawala from the pandemic, parang sunod-sunod yung events, sunod-sunod yung book launches. Tapos, yun nga. So yeah, so last year lang pala itong Spirit Sprints. Pero it was running, was it running before na dun sa Pen Lab site? Uh, um, yes po. Uh, I, I guess that's yung aking, where I got confused with the timeline. Kasi, yun nga, it was... Meron ng like a sample chapter I there. Suppose. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So was, one thing. Uh, ah, yeah. What's that? I think it was released po nung 20, 21, yung parang yung mga teasers, covers, concept art. Mm -hmm. And then it was formally yung parang full chapter niya yung mabas ng 2022 dun sa website and app. And then, na-release po yung complete book po ng 2023. 2023. And ang ganda ng book. Uh, congratulations dun sa release ng book. I mean, the visuals, ang ganda ng color palette that you use, the, the style, your visual language, pagkwento. So let's talk about Spirit Sprints a bit. Uh, from what I gathered from yung site before, you were co-writing this or were you just a co-creator of of the book? Um, the ones po who write the script po are Sina Bernie po at si Nina. So they're okay. the ones who like making details and such. And what I mostly do is yung nga po dun sa co-creation, yung uh, pagtulong po dun sa creating world building at the beginning when we were just uh, starting project and then uh, moving forward for just like some insights uh, suggestions usually where the story could go po, um afterwards but yung po uh yung main focus ko po talaga is uh creating and illustrating po yung pages mm -hmm. i forgot if i asked you this question before pero as a comics creator how do you identify yourself mostly are you more of a writer or are you more of an illustrator mm, before i would say i was more of a writer but mm -hmm. nowadays po, i i would say i'm more of an illustrator mm -hmm. oh. um reason why i asked this because uh, when you joined the comics camp before if i mm -hmm. remember correctly parang you were more of a writer then right I was more of a writer then. Yes. Uh, and I know that you you also write your own works. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I'm in a similar situation because I also draw and I also illustrate, mm -hmm. but I have not actually illustrated for anyone else. Mm -hmm. So, medyo opposite to yung situation. Oh, uh, yeah. Pero th the reason why I'm asking is because as a writer yourself, how do you find it illustrating somebody else's work? Mm, for me, personally, I find it enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. I like parang, I mean, I've always been more of a, I've always liked reading. Lalo na kapag yung Filipino short stories. So, mm -hmm. and I don't know, I just find it fun na parang I find the like, story and that's I find interesting and I think, oh, parang ang ganda naman ito. And I like the idea that I'm giving a visual interpretation of that story. Yeah, so that's um like, I, I mean, that's at least what I like about illustrating other people's works. Tapos, yun nga, parang inisip ko na rin na it's also like a way for me to level up my skills as an illustrator so that when I do illustrate my own work, I can feel confident that I can pull my own story off. That mm. is that as well. Oh, nga. I, I find it then, ano, kasi while I don't illustrate other people's stories, I usually produce their book for them. So, mm. I rin ako with how they write. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, parang iba kasi yung structure nila eh. And sometimes mm -hmm. kasi when you're writing for yourself, i mas... Ikaw ba? Organized ka ba magsulat para sa sarili mo? Yes po. <laughs> ah. Parang like, gusto ko yung nakaplano na siya. Ah, Para so that's... Yeah. Ewan kasi mahirap yung like... Um, how do you say this? Medyo mahirap when you've already started drawing and then you realize that, oh no, I should have done this. So, ah, yeah. lahat, <laughs> lahat no effort mo to like, like sketch, line art, para ah, ang bigat ng feeling na, oh no. Oh ah, yeah, oh, I, I, I get it. Like, I, I get, I get. Yung, ano yun eh, yung tinatago visual writing, yung visual writing format, madalas yun yung pitfall nun is yung, yun nga, yung, yung situations na, oh no, bakit dapat dagdagan ko to or bawasan ko to, hindi nag-work to. So, mm -hmm. The way you write is you write talaga yung full script mo before you really, draw yes. anything. Uh -uh. Parang for example, if I have a longer story, I would prefer if tapusin ko na yung isang arc, like do it by arc rather than um, para chapter. Para so you don't leave I... chapters hanging. As in, <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> bubuin mo yung buong arc when you're writing. Yeah, para din kasi like. Uh, make clear direction yung story and para din hindi to make sure that you know I'm carefully leading yung reader to where I want them to go to make sure hindi sila nawawala kung where the story is going mm, nga. Nga. so mas ano talaga mas defined na writing system yung ginagawa mo when you do your stories uh, but have you done any project where you, you're, you're doing everything on the fly <laughs> Uh, wait, on the fly? Yung mga first projects ko po. Uh -oh, parang, they were, re pa, yung mga one-shots ko. Uh, yeah. Mas parang, just how I felt. <laughs> parang, okay, parang this one looks nice, so I'll do this. Uh, or usually, a very structured uh -oh. yung okay. writing process ko. So, uh, aside from si na Bernie and si Nina, have you worked with other writers on other projects? I mean, I do have parang work po. Like sometimes mga like yung mga work work comics. So I have. Ah, okay. Okay. So you so, you illustrate uh, comic books, uh, for a living na, in general. For uh, po, some projects, meron na po. Uh, so, are, are these foreign uh, foreign writers uh, or Filipinos no. then? Usually po mga Filipino brands. Mm -hmm. Ah, br brands. So it's okay. commercial work. Okay. Uh, how do you find the difference between doing a more 
personal creative work from doing commercial uh sequential work um for personal sequential work what i like about this is i have more freedom parang i have more room to experiment um mas kaya kong i-draw out yung story ganun pero po kasi like when it comes to commercial work kung ano talaga yung nilagay ng writer and kung ano yung style that the client wants then that's the style that i'm going to stick to so ah, okay. yeah, mas structured parang very straightforward yung process dun sa uh, for commercial stuff po. so Pero you adjust po, your style for a particular project ah yes po ah okay that's quite hard that uh, coming uh, I used to do the same for it pero parang I realize now that I'm older na parang mas okay sana if I just like impose na ito yung style ko <laughs> I mean there are perks to like both approaches naman at least kapag uh, America's playing style kilala ka dun sa style na yun oo uh, kasi parang I, I see other creators that are doing commercial work wherein um they got they got hired because of yung identity of how they do things. Mm-hmm. Diba? Para mas okay sa ano yun. <laughs> so yeah, may mga like, different approaches to it. Or mm-hmm. like, for me, yung nga, ina-adjust ko yung style. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think we already discussed it po before, dun sa previous na comics kwentuhan, where I said na, I usually adjust my art style depending dun sa story. Yeah. So, and, bro, I think that's also because during that time pa wala pa talaga akong like set na art style. It's mm. before sa nag-drawing nag-draw yun eh. Pero, pero right now na parang nag-develop na rin po yung like visual identity ko. I do see your point na parang ah okay, you have like a certain look and then that certain look works best with certain stories. So, mm. first for me na papansin ko I work best a lot with like slice of life, but the fantasy stories usually. Yep. At oh. least for me, na papa. Pero yun yah, you you're still young, naman. So yeah, um, actually oh. doing several styles. Uh, tapos until you find something that you're really comfortable with, and you you begin to work under yun style na yun is okay. <laughs> Do you find yourself that? na mangyayari yun sa'yo in the future that you, you'll find particular style that you're very comfortable with and you, and that's the only style that you use in your stories and in your work? Mm, most likely, I can see it happening. Especially if, for example, like, um some writers approach me po, diba? Sila sabi nila, oh, I, um, I like spirit sprints. Um, will you consider also checking the story, parang bag just art style mo, and then I realized oh there are people who don't know na who don't who didn't know my previous works, so they didn't know na parang nagiba iba talaga yung art style ko over the years. So feel ko it's just it's just gonna like happen more and more as I release yeah. more works. Oh. So parang naturally mo made develop talaga yung art style. Mm-hmm. So at this point of your career, ano yung mga realizations mo about uh, as a creator with how you tell a story, with how you draw comics? And in uh in, in that short span of time na uh, when we last talk, ano yung mga nagbago? Hmm. Nagbago? Mm-hmm. Like it in what sense, po, sir? Um when last we talked, were you already working? I, I know you, we talked about Spirit Sprints na rin nun, di ba? Pero I think it was just a germ of an idea pa lang and you were starting pa lang. Ah, yes po. Uh, and now that it's now finally fully in fruition, as in printed na siya, how was your journey to when you started brainstorming it and finishing yung book? Uh, ano yung mga natutunan mo along the way? working with I, I I you said you were part of yung were, was it like a studio setup before? Uh, hindi po. 
Para uh, so it's basically na- like a virtual studio pa rin. Uh-huh. You, you have your own workspace pa rin. Uh-huh. But y- you were working under uh-huh. that banner. Uh-huh. Hmm. So yeah, any yung mga natutunan mo while you were doing spirit, spirit, uh, spirit sprints? <laughs> Nakabulol siya. <laughs> um, natutunan ko ang haba ng process. <laughs> okay. Sobrang like literal marathon siya. And ang um, at least for me it's a sprint. Ko, it's, it's a marathon. <laughs> it's a marathon. <laughs> Opo, parang um yung a marathon siya. And na feel ko talaga ah this is why hindi, hindi hindi kaya ng maraming tao to do this as a full-time job kasi <laughs> talagang tuloy-tuloy siya. Uh, yeah. The pages never end. <laughs> so, parang ano yan, diba? Parang uh, for those who are looking into becoming comic book illustrator, parang it's a, it's a fun job, yeah. pero it's also like kind of sad kasi most of the time you're on your own. <laughs> Opo. Um, like for example, dun sa Spirit Sprints, I worked like six days a week kasi yun po yung parang full-time job ko before so mm-hmm. six days a week yun tapos 14 hour na 14 hour work days kasi like meron kaming follow na schedule nun before eh tapos I only work alone like I have no assistance mm, so yeah. sketching to line art to coloring to uh, lettering. Oh, pala, sir, pinafollow ko pa rin yung mga lettering techniques niyo from before. <laughs> para, so, ni sir. So, parang, yung, like, th- there's, like, so many steps. Pero, I mean, for me, I felt naman na I was able to keep up. Yung napansin ko lang po sa akin is kapag nagkaroon na, diba, like, you're, there's a marathon, if you stop in the middle for, like, um, parang nagkaroon ng break, mararamdaman mo na yung pagod na mag-catch up bigla. So, you it's important na parang to pace yourself. Yeah. Para at least uh, uh, hindi ka ma-burn out na super, super. Do you find it hard, like when you said, when you take a break, you find it hard to find the rhythm again to do that grind? Yes. Uh, super. Kapag nawala ka sa zone, oh no. Uh, parang... Which is kind of very hard to explain to people why parang sobrang irate ng ibang creators when they're doing something and you ask them to do something else. Tapos parang, anong ba ito? Grabe naman magalit. Parang, but kasi yung hirap ma, 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 <laughs> makuha ulit yung group. <laughs> Kaya kapag nawala ka dun sa zone, it's so difficult to go back in. So, yeah, for me, and yun nga, parang doon ko na-realize na parang maganda nga na before I used to do just mostly one-shot stories. Para at least kapag one shot, alam mo kompleto na yung kwento. And you don't need to like worry about it anymore. Because if it's like <laughs> a long story, like, oh no, <laughs> mahirap. So, during this process, you're alone, like you said. Uh, how do you like cope? Do you have, like, do you listen to music? Watch something? Uh-huh as white noise get on you tambay lang po ako usually sa youtube eh. <laughs> um, ah, okay so you listen uh, to a lot okay. of youtube videos okay, like, listening to yung mga video essays so usually uh, mga video essays movie reviews ganun ah. para kahit di ko napapanood yung tv series para alam ko na rin yung nangyari <laughs> ah but yeah yeah you, parang background noise mo which is parang what most of us do Pero ngayon kasi um, parang realization then uh, when I was working in a studio, I was faster. Mm-hmm. Only because yung mind mo when you're doing like more menial processes like coloring mm-hmm. or uh, cleaning when you're when you're done with the page and maglilinis kang ganyan mas mabilis if you have someone to talk to. So, I parang, yeah, uh-uh. so, if you have, like, meron kang ka, ka back and forth na kausap, 
it's faster actually to do those things. Also drawing actually. If you if you have like a page that's already laid out and you're doing inking or doing doing detailed work, talking to someone actually makes it faster. So sa akin it's the opposite. Kapag kapag may kausap ako, hindi I can't do them both at the same time. Like uh para depends on kausap mo. <laughs> yung topic para... kasi usually um uh, we have this Discord group where I talk to a lot of other illustrators na mm-hmm. usually we talk to each other kasi kailangan namin i... Anong tawag din? Kailangan namin i-distract yung utak namin to do yung inking namin. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So oh, we, we talk about a lot of like parang stupid stuff lang. <laughs> Kasi once it becomes yung parang sobrang gripping naman na discussion, detrimental din yun. Kasi matidistract ka na talaga. No? Pero oh. if you talk about like, you know, small talk about shows, about mga stupid memes or yung mga issues, <laughs> lumalabas. Parang after an hour, makakatapos ka ng piece eh. Mahirap sa akin ho, sir. Like, parang kapag nag, kapag nagkwekwentuan na, it's like my focus goes, like, most of it goes as a talking rather than yung in mm, so, yeah. so, parang, Mer- Meron naman ganun din talaga. Yeah. So you find it more, ano na, mas okay na if, if it's like, yun nga, somebody else is talking, you're just listening. Uh-oh. Walang interaction. Oh, uh-huh. just may kinig na lang. So, in podcast, sa mga true crime. Yeah, true crime, yeah. Oh, favorite ko yung true crime. True crime YouTube videos. And so, yun po usually, mga napapakinggan. Hmm. Uh, what are the plans with Spirit Sprints? Uh, are you, is there a book coming out this year? Uh, hindi po siya this year. Most likely po next second, uh, next year po. Um, Sina, Bernie, and Nina po, they're still working on the script. Uh, for context po kasi, di ba po last time, um, full-time po namin siya ginagawa. And uh, nahihirapan po kasi yung continuous na production dun sa script. So, para mabigyan po sila ng more time, sabi po, okay, go lang, you guys can just have more time to like, flesh out yung story more. And then, so, kaya po ko wala na po ngayon sa PenLab kasi na resign na po muna ako na. So, I'm currently doing other work po muna. Mm, okay. So, time. it's not really on hold pero probably next year na yung next book. Okay. Um, you mentioned that it was launched noong April last year. Okay. Uh, and you did your rounds of events to promote and sell the book. Yes, How sir. was your experience naman selling the book? Ang hirap pa sa creator. <laughs> parang like wait, um I I mean yung parang I know it's important to be alam ko mga all-rounders ang Filipino creators. Like tayo yung taga-gawa, taga-benta, taga-market, so tayo lahat. But uh I'm 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 not very good at marketing. I'm be- I'm better kapag yung ibang titles yung nang hina-hype. Medyo nahihiya pa ako when it comes to my own work. So I mean, I know na I should like, you know, promote it more, but there's like a part na parang, na, parang nakakayo, alam mo ko pala yung pinopromote. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. parang may ano yun eh, meron, kahit, kahit naman ako eh, whenever I'm selling things, I tend to sell yung other books <laughs> than yung book. Uh, oops. Yeah. Parang, yun nga, medyo, medyo nahihiya lang. So, it, it really helps kapag yung mga friends mo uh, dumadalo. Sila yung nag-hype ng books. Like, thank you. Salamat sa support. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. Parts And yun, no? how was yung reception? Reception of the readers towards the book? Um, I think it was pretty good naman po. Like, uh, there aren't like a lot of full-length na middle-grade graphic novels sa Philippines. Uh-uh. So, you just, uh-huh. um, alam ko so far si Private Iris. Uh, alam ko, Darna also released a graphic novel uh, targeted towards children. 
So, it's parang nagugulo sa, ay, pero palang ganito. Yan, yeah, then, you know. which is parang, madalas din namin pag-usapan dito sa kwentuhan. It's like, an untap na gold mine nga ba? <laughs> That, uh, kasi a lot of parents are looking for books for their kids. And most of the time, um, yung popular books natin, it's not really for kids. Uh, so, laging kaming hard-pressed to like, uh, i-promote something kasi parang, parang lagi namin isipin, is it for kids nga ba? <laughs> But oh. good thing with with your with with Pen Lab, there are some initiatives na more all ages na 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 books. Because yun talaga yung parang wala. Aha, uh-huh. yung alam ko po na para na katapu talaga dun sa parents and you know children market. Kawangis Publishing. Aha, uh-huh. parents like they were able to tap dun sa homeschool community. Mm-hmm. I should talk to Arya ulit. So. Opo, like, <laughs> like, 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 kasi minsan nagkakentuhan kami, parang, ah, wow, ganyan naman. So, yun. They also mm-hmm. hold workshops and such, so, feel ko po, maraya po silang ma-share in regards po sa gano'n. Sa mm-hmm. po, uh, parang connecting with parents and such. Mm-hmm. Connecting with parents. Kasi yun nga, parang, If you think about it, it's not the kids who, who, who buys the books. Actually, it's the parents. <laughs> so, parang, wait, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you're not just considering what the, what you think the kid would like. You have to also consider what you want the parents. Yeah, so, uh, actually, si Ma'am si Ma Bambi touched uh-huh. upon yung topic na yun. Kasi parang she mentioned na she did... A book, a, a children's book, and then she found out na yung factors that you have to think about is like it's yung parents or educators that would be looking at it, kasi mm-hmm. they would be the one who's promoting it or endorsing it to kids. Apa. Ah, uh, so yun yah. So isipin mo rin na uh, as an educator, makikita ba niya yung value nito ng ginawa ko or tama ba tong ginawa ko? Apa. So usually pugan. I think we were able to experience this firsthand dun sa Philippine Book Festival. Mm. Uh, it was also sa Philippine Book Festival. They have this um param program wherein um teachers will like and educator schools will go around checking your yeah. books mm-hmm. to see which uh which titles could be part of their curriculum. So parang dun namin talaga na experience yung sino sir para chine check ng mga teachers and stuff if it's possible. Pero nung mm-hmm. ilan na po eh, para sa mga libraries nila. Pero like sobrang yeah. interesting lang po na tinatanong. Okay, ano yung themes niya? Ano yung lessons? Which mm-hmm, is not diba? something as a creator you usually think about. Kasi in your mind, you just want to tell a good story. You want to share the story in your head. Pero yeah, this is something pala na, yun nga, if you want to like connect to that audience, it's something na you have to keep in mind when writing that uh, particular book. Hmm. So, uh, for yung plans mo this year, so mostly you're just gonna be, do you have any books, your own, that uh, you wait. plan to release this year? Yes po. Actually po, um, a friend and I are working on uh, her title naman ngayon. So, we're very excited to like share. Di pa namin formally siya ina-announce. But uh, hope we hope to release it this year din po. Uh, Do you have so, a specific um launch date in mind for the book? Ayoko po. Parang, pili ko po majijinx eh. Delikado. Oo, <laughs> 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 babay. Di ba tuloy? <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Uh, so, goal namin talaga this year. Para, para at least, para, wait, natunungan ni Ma'am, Ma'am Shirley, if like, aabot ba siya sa comic care? And I was like, sorry, ma'am, di po aabot. Kasi like, we're just starting on it. Pero yeah, hopefully sometime this year talaga namin ma-share. Mm-mm. Would you be going to any of the events uh, to sell stuff? Ah, yes po. Um, events ko po this year is um yung February comic 
Ayan. Ayan tawag nila Comic at Classic. You <laughs> see, tapos po yung Comic Con, and then mm-hmm. yung Patrons of the Arts, Cebu. So, yun po yung events ko so far this year. Mm-hmm. Nothing beyond pa that. So, what will we expect from your table when you attend the events? Uh, usually, comics and art prints. Yeah. Usually, oh. yung dalawang na yun yung binibend ko ngayon. Sila, yun yung focus ko so far. Mm-hmm. Art Pero, prints. Anong art prints do you usually sell? Uh, honestly, parang medyo Lofi-esque yung style niya. Ah. Because I've been trying to explore, parang, you know, just develop my art in general. And at least for me, napansin ko lang na art print sell more. <laughs> Mas magaling siya ibenta compared to comics. Um, and I noticed din po kasi na lately, I've been more into longer works. So, ang mindset ko is, ah, okay, so the art, kasi before, yung mindset ko is that I make stickers and merch to fund my comics. Ngayon, since nalaman kong medyo mas mabenta yung art, it's kay art prints so that I could have the money to like self-publish yung comics ko. Uh-huh. So, yun naman. It just evolved from stickers and merch to art prints ngayon. Mm, would you like to weigh up on you if you're familiar with the issue that was raised before? Uh, which one po? Uh, about uh, si Jocel Nicolas wrote about uh, parang uh, comic book sellers being edged out in events in favor of uh, stickers, prints, merchandisers. Um, that it ito? has become parang uh, hindi na profitable for the creator to table at events unless they too sell the same merchandise. I mean, I mean, this is ito po yung experience ko from before. Pero guys, I feel like that's already an old issue. Yeah. Um, kasi Pretty like, old. No, when I was just starting po, like sa events, ang napansin ko po talaga is that people are usually more drawn talaga dun sa mga like, how do you say this? Meron tayong like, uh, may pika-pika culture. Like, may, may tingi culture tayo sa yeah, oh. like, You could see it in our ano, in, in products and groceries. Parang tayo lang ata in the world have the shades of shampoo, hmm. pocket size, toothpaste. <laughs> so, <laughs> All sorts of so stuff. Parang, it just coincides with that one. Na. Yun nga. So, people are usually more drawn to the small stuff. However, it should not like, I think, personally for me, I should not like deter people from still creating new artworks sila. I feel like some of, uh, one of the comic creators I know, kailangan yung po si Velve. Hmm? Uh, she's also a comics creator. Um, Ang ginagawa niya ngayon, I think which is like very smart, is she sells like mini comics na maliliit lang. Hmm. So, parang she kind of like, she finds a good balance between cl- creating merch but also creating yung comics niya na feel niya na mas accessible din sa buyers. So yeah. Is, Basically, yun naman din yun eh. It's the price mm-hmm. range na nag, hindi nag help with the cost of some of the comics that comic sellers because if you like sell for like 300, 400, 600, yes. how can you compete with like 20, 50, mm-hmm. 60, 100? <laughs> and uh and yun nga, if you feel na parang na push out the space, my encouragement is to like make your own space, di ba? I feel like mm. uh, that's always... Tama naman. Uh, most of those I talk to about the issue is yun nga, it's basically knowing your market of the event that you're attending. Mm-hmm. So if you think na hindi siya for you, then look for mm-hmm. somewhere else. Uh-huh. Like, for example po, kasi before, yung mga friends ko, yung uh, artist group ko, they were inviting me sa anime conventions. But I know na hindi ko siya market. Hindi na ako updated sa mga anime. I don't ha- I don't sell merch. Puro original art yung binibenta ko. So like, I'm not gonna join that kasi di naman talaga siya yung market ko. 
So it's just like knowing then like which spaces you know you would thrive in and making mm-hmm. sure that you go also in that space. Mm-hmm. So yun. Pero yeah, exciting if exciting events this year. Say yeah. parang uh-huh. comic, so yay. So sa perspective mo, uh what do you think has changed sa ano natin? Sa comics creators and their titles in general. What has to change? What changed? What changed? After the pandemic. Uh, parang when we last we talked, we talked about mostly comics when we were af- before the pandemic. Ngayong after the pandemic, ano yung nakita mong more na nagbago talaga? I mean, observation ko lang, Earl. Wala masyado. I mean, like, walang gaanong comics as before, at least from what I've noticed. Like, I mean, say events that pinuputat ko, sometimes you want to, like, look for zines, mga comics. There's, like, not a lot of them. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if it's just because nakalimutan nila. Ah, maybe because there's, like, an apprehension to register. Um, If you're, like, not yet sure if it's, like, safe to go out yet. So maybe there's it's part of that. And also because I think in general, nag-iba na rin kasi yung convention culture. And yeah. since comedy is closely related sa convention culture, it also kind of changed then. Um, so kasi talaga right, yung napansin diba, mo rin, no? Napansin mo rin na uh, parang kumonte yung, yung comics. Those who sell comics. Uh, oh. Like, in general... I mean, nga, kasi nag na yung convention culture. There are, pe- there are artists who, like, do conventions full-time. Yeah, so, like, you could do you could do it full-time na ngayon, eh. <laughs> but I, I think that's one of the biggest reasons. So, it's not like, parang, I don't think it's fair na magalit ka sa kanila for taking up slots sa events. Especially since, yun nga yung trabaho nila. But mm-hmm. also, at this time, I feel like, if anything, it's, it's like a call to create more events that must focus on specific things. Since, like, yung nga, dumada, lumalaki na yung community, dumadami yung creators. So, yun nga, let's push for more spaces to focus. I mm-hmm. think yung Comiket, yung, uh, yung Comiket Mass last year, which yeah, was, which like, was all comics, year. right? Uh. I think that was so fun. Like, natuwa ako kasi, yun, lahat ng mga tables may nakalapag na lib- like, parang naka- uh-huh. nalibro. So, that was fun. I really like that. Tapos, natutuwa ako sa puro mga kilala ko. Like, happy guys, reunion, uh-huh. Yeah, oh, parang ano na yun, parang nakaka-miss din. Nakaka-miss yung gano'n. <laughs> oh, well, we did like three of those last year. <laughs> parang like sobrang fun. Hi guys, musta na? So, uh, wala ako dun sa aking train of thought. Ah, <laughs> uh, Do you remember what I asked you? <laughs> Before? Um, so, sorry, nagbe-brain fog ako. Uh, yung apa, what changed? What you've noticed? Uh, what changed? Uh, what do you see yung papunta? Kung saan papunta yung comics natin ngayon? Oh, that's an interesting question. Uh, saan papunta yung comics? Kasi parang the 90s were more superheroes, di ba? More reflective of the DC Marvel image comics culture. Um, late 90s to the early 2000s, mid 2000s was um, manga since there was the manga explosion global. So mm-hmm. maraming na influence nun. Um, towards the end of the 2000s, 2010s onward, mas introspective na comics there was like uh tapos mas diverse na yung influences um ngayon the 2020s where do you think Filipino comics is headed ang napansin ko po is like i mean sa parang i what like draws in yung crowd i think there's like a lot of focus na po with lgbt like stories Which I mm-hmm. think is good. Also, they've been like far overlooked for far. Yeah. So yeah, I I see I see then a uh, lot of inclusion. Uh, 
in, in, inclusivity of yung mga representations of yung mga hindi dati uh, well represented sa stories natin. They are now, sila yung nasa spotlight niya. Which is like really good. Kasi natutuwa ako like sa fully book. Sila yung nasa harap na uh, parang shelf. So like, oh, okay, so talagang nakaka-highlight. Um, mm. I say this because um, sa ibang bansa, it's not like that. Like, because diba pumunta po kami ng Singapore. And then, I, we went dun sa their bookstore, big bookstore na yung kinukuniya. And I noticed na there are no LGBT titles. Or like, very few or nakatago sila between the shelves. Like, the spotlight is not on them. And then when I talked with like some of the creators there, so I said, "Ay, yeah, it's not that. Parang di kasi di sila kasing open toward it. Like we are here in the Philippines, mas open tayo sa kanya." Yeah, Actually, yeah. Uh, for all the mga sinasabi natin backwards ng Philippines, mas forward thinking tayo. Remember na mas mas traditionalist na Asian country yung Singapore also. Diba? Parang they were under more stricter yeah. rules and uh, parang mas yun nga, parang nasa traditional concept sila ng family. Ah, so yeah. hindi pa talaga sila ganun ka-open with um, yung... So it kind of like made me like see yung, I mean, it really made me see like, oh, so it's a good thing na parang at least somewhere in the Philippines like we're very open to it. Toward it, mm-hmm. right? no, we still have a long way to go, parent. Since very long way, uh, very long way, parent. Because when you go further down southern Tagalog, it's still yeah. like a macho yeah. culture, parent. <laughs> Ay parang tao gito. Medyo naka bubble, parent. Because mm-hmm. sa Manila, very different. But when you go outside, ibarin yung parang tingin. Ah, uh, so, pero yung yeah, parang hindi mo naman masusuhorn yun, kasi hindi mo naman pwedeng pilitin kasi like what yung what yung defense most of the time is their product of their time and mm-hmm. parang hindi mo naman siya hindi mo naman mapapaintindi sa caveman kagad yung concept ng physics di ba <laughs> so parang ano talaga kasi mahabang process siya <laughs> So so you you that's what you think would uh define this decade. Yes. Uh representation and inclusivity. Ganun din siya kasi sa western market particularly to the US. The one Yeah, pero time... ayun nga eh parang ang, ang tingin ko naman sa US it's like they they're like um while I'm all for inclusivity and uh, representation parang if you are like reshaping already established characters to to do that parang disservice din siya lalo na if you're like trying to educate your for your other the former market or your former readers that supported your books oh so there ba ganun klase ng trend right now kasi, kasi like yung alam ko is graphic novels like yung mga tawag ito or mga non-fiction memoirs of like Uh, those own. are those are good as in those are good kasi more mainstream mainstream na new uh new icons new characters tapos new stories for uh the people that are uh hindi represented before are good pero kasi some of the bigger brands some of the bigger publishers what they're trying to do is like uh for example say superman Um, have a Superman that is also of LGBTQ uh, part of the LGBTQ which is parang mm. for for traditional readers parang masyado siyang uh, abrupt na change <laughs> di ba? I mean, yung mga ganun bagay parang you could always create new characters for 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 them and push those characters instead of trying to shoehorn representation to established characters. I mean, 
I you know I I'm just an ally. I'm an I'm just an ally. Pero parang at least for me, med- I mean I can't speak for the LGBTQ community. Pero parang I guess it's like how I see yung Spider Man. But there's Peter Parker and there's Miles Morales. Yes. So I think it's possible to introduce an engaging character mm. who belongs to that community. Now people can also fall in love yes. with. Yes. Oh. That's the, the proper way, diba? Because Miles is a totally different character from Peter Parker, who represents Hispanic and African American uh, yeah. roots, so, diba? Parang, with, like, suddenly, I mean, at least for me, you know, I can't speak for the LGBTQ community. Parang, medyo, like, I mean, parang, minadalina. Okay, basta kailan natin represent, hindi na lang to. Ah, uh, yeah. Yun nga. As in, parang taking a shortcut, making an established icon into something else. Parang, uh, parang siyang sampal with both of your markets na parang, uh, parang gagawin, parang, for, for those who followed it, parang sobrang abrupt na change. For those who want you to, for those who you want to be represented, parang, can't you just create something new for us? <laughs> I think, sir, magandang topic to for like, if you could invite an LGBTQ. Oh, di ba? Oh. Ako rin kasi, I can't really speak for the LGBTQ yeah, community since hindi so. rin ako part siya. Maybe may iba silang perspective about uh, it. And they I, I'm just speaking it. mostly from the perspective of yung disgruntled fans. I, I know several na parang galit sa Disney because of what they're doing with uh, mga live action nila. And oh, okay. parang nap- napipaint sila na uh, they're, they're bad persons because ay, ayaw nyo to kasi ayaw nyo sa mga minorities or ayaw nyo sa LGBTQ. Pero ang, ang argument naman kasi nila is uh, kasi I grew up with that character being a certain a persuasion, cer- uh, certain race, certain ganyan, tapos biglang pinalitan nila. Just to have representation. I'm honestly not sure kasi ngayon nga, I can't, I can't speak for them. Parang, mm. I think there really should be more discussion about it. At least yes. from both sides. Na maayos. Huwag kayong mag-usap over Twitter. <laughs> Oh ay, ay, parang what? ano nga eh, ako nga ay, I find myself na hindi na ako masyado nagtitingin ng mga, t- mga threads of, <laughs> sa, sa Twitter kasi sobrang toxic parang, na pag minsan magsalitaan ng both sides. Uh, eh. Parang it's possible to have a discussion na maayos kayong mag-usap and I feel mm. like yung, uh, how do you say this, yung atmosphere na foster in online spaces na puro short form, hindi siya <laughs> for those kinds of discussions. Uh, parang so, ano, di ba? Parang, uh, parang short parang messages public, tapos lahat sila gusto nila public. sila yung last word in. <laughs> parang, instead na parang nakakashed ng light from like both perspectives kasi what happens minsan nagiging personal nagiging personal na parang mm. ano yung and then nga hindi nagpo-foster ng magandang discussion if you let, if you don't meet in equal terms when you start a discussion na yung isang side thinks that you're something else and the other side also thinks you're something else di ba parang for start pa lang mababa na yung tingin niyo sa isa't isa wala wala pa wala mo tutunguhan yung usapan niyo Parang, you know, just, just talk, guys. Pwede naman mag-usap ng maayos. G lang. Yeah. Uh, your discussion. So, speaking uh, about ulit sa comics. Balik tayo sa comics. <laughs> Balik nga pala tayo. Uh, I, actually, laging nag-ganto yung usapan natin. Laging nagiging parang dapat mas malalim na usapang stuff. I remember parang yung dati natin na, parang na ganun din. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, so balik tayo sa comics. Uh there nung the reason why I started comics kwentuhan again is because of yun nga, yung post ni Jocelyn about uh comics being marginalized and then there was like a um influx of ideas on how to improve 
the local Filipino comics, how to promote local comics. Ano yung uh, perspective mo or idea mo about it? On how to improve and how to move forward Filipino comics. Kung kasi nakita yung post, so di ako super sure sa context. Um, for like how to move Filipino comics forward? Yeah. Honestly, Moving forward, pero... how do we... Uh, kasi ang... I see initiatives um, na part of it was like yung sa, sa DTI, which is yung Creative Industries Bill. Ang uh, pinupush nila is to create content, Filipino content for global consumption. Mm-hmm. And so then... South Korea. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Same with the webtoon thing mm-hmm. of South Korea and other other media na South Korea. Also, uh, meron namang initiatives na or meron namang school of thought na dapat we should like cultivate a local market local readership first before we venture forth internationally with any of our content. Mm-hmm. Ikaw, what do you think? Ano yung, how do we push Filipino comics forward? Like, for me kasi, I can only like speak from my experience. But for me, like the best way to move forward is to just creating parang kasi like I can't speak for you mga yung mga parang bills and such I feel like I'm not parang as well equipped in that regard parang like knowledge wise I don't have all the details to say ay hindi ito lang yung parang nagluin to or ito lang yung mga pwede gawin but what I do know from my experience is that when you create and share that work with others somewhere down the line it creates like a butterfly effect and you'll be able to influence somebody else to also create Parang, so as long as you keep creating comics won't die i mean for example like for me if i grew up overseas then i came here i knew nothing about comics with okay i didn't know na mara palang kumagawang mga like local creators na gumagawa ng series ng comics. Pero pumunta ako, pero kasi I was a reader. I didn't know dito. And then I went to MIBF tapos nakita ko si Sir Are na promote niya yung book niya, Mythology Class. And then I liked it so much na hinarap ko siya yung susunod na event niya, which is at Comic Cat, which is how I found out about Comic Cat. So parang tuloy-tuloy siya. And as long as you promote your works, as long as you create and put your work out there. Basta belief ko talaga somewhere down the line you'll be able mm-hmm. to like touch more people and also inspire them to create. Even if kahit sabihin natin a small creator ka. As long as you put your work out there, parang mm-hmm. at least you know what's out there. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. At least it's mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. Parang sometimes you'd be surprised yung mga people that read your work and parang inspire with your work. Kahit, kahit sabihin mo, ano, ginawa mo lang yun for um for fun lang or on a whim tapos pinost mo online tapos may na-reach na someone <laughs> oh oh for example like um yung isang work ko which is enchantment it's like a manga style that i posted parang i really just made it for a contest pero hindi ko siya masyado pa na-develop mo yun smugulot na lang ako na somebody talks about it parang ha na ba mo yun na hindi ko na ano na pinopromote na yun so parang you know, like, create and keep creating. Share your work. Because you really never know who you, like, you know, influence or touch somewhere down, somewhere down the line. Yeah. yeah. Okay. On that note, oh, maganda yun. Uh, just keep on creating. Keep on sharing your work. Because uh, you don't know who sino yung nakaka, makakasagap, makakabasa, makaka-encounter ng work mong yun. And sometimes, Mali mo. Even if you are not the one who uh, impose change or impose progress, yung work mo might be yung mag-instigate nun or baka inspire ng someone. And diba? it's also like a collective effort din kasi. Like for example, ah, oh. maraming 
diba? For example, di naman maraming creators before ng mga stickers, art prints before, diba? Di naman ganun karami. But now, it's like, ang laki na super ng community. So, I think that it can go the same with comics naman. Yes. So, yun na naman. Ito yung so, yun yung final message natin with, uh, with those who are watching or listening in. <laughs> or do you have any more may may message ka pa ba for them um tuloy-tuloy lang guys kaya yan hindi <laughs> 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 talaga kaya yan kaya yan oh, okay yeah. okay so where can they follow your work okay so i'm present mostly i'm available uh, my social media pages are on facebook uh, Twitter and Instagram. You can check me at just Hansel Art. Uh, yun. So on all social media pages. But I'm most active sa Instagram. Yes. Oh. Okay. Just Hansel Art. Um, yep. Spirit Sprints is still available. Uh, what online shops nagkikare nito? Uh, nasa Shopee po siya. So okay, you can so like shop. go Shopee there. Uh-uh. And then kapag and may event. It's also there. still available sa Pen lab site, right? If they want to check it out. Online. Online. There's an English version pala. Sorry, di ko na share. There's an English version available if that's the language that you would prefer. Okay, so there are two versions. Two printed versions na to. Uh, the English of Spirit Sprint and the Tagalog version. Which is yung buyag ng po kawayan. Yes. Okay. And then the oh, wala English pa pala akong English version. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the same naman po. Naka-English lang siya. And there's translation notes sa liko. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. GG naman, sir. <laughs> si Jati mm-hmm. yung po. <laughs> hindi, hindi, hindi. Uh, ayun na. I-explain ko ulit. Um, I find it parang naka, nakaka-asar with our current uh, of yung parang um, sobrang casual ng mga tao with each other. I just like mm. na mabalik lang yung parang may mutual respect with others. And s- calling sir, ma'am, ano yun eh, parang sign of respect lang with any of my peers, which I consider you uh, colleagues in comic book. So yun. Kaya, kaya I refer to everyone as ma'am and sir. I understand naman that, sir. That's like a, that's also a good mindset to have. Uh, and gusto ko lang ulit, ano, parang, gusto ko parang ganun na ulit mag-usap yung mga tao. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, para sa mga nanonood, mga ma'am and sir, oh, parang naging, ano, SM. <laughs> oh, ma'am, sir. Uh, uh, maraming salamat sa panonood. Uh, like and share this video to your friends. Promote natin comic books, local comic books, local comic book creators. Tapos, uh, follow nyo sa Facebook. Subscribe to my channel in YouTube. Tsaka yun lang. More comics kwentuhan in the future. Salamat ulit, Ma'am Hansel. Bye-bye. Salamat ulit. Sige po. Bye po.